we need to go find a lucky cart. I think it is, I think it's, I think it's this one. I see cute little music box. Oh, he's got a unicorn in there. Let's wind it up and see. There it is. We'll see if you are still good. Oh, there it goes. Here goes the clothes. They're going on the cart. There they go. Yep, she's gonna load the cart. <laughs> Day. And do you know what I get to do on Mother's Day? I get to shop with this girl. We're shopping. We're shopping. We're shopping. <laughs> oh, she says it like it's a chore, but that's a facade. <sighs> Trust me, she is she is mine. She likes her shopping. Uh, so we are here at Savers, and this is the one that we usually go to with Mikey Bags Money because this one is very, very filming friendly and they have good stuff. I'm going to try to be picky. You can help me be picky. Uh, no, absolutely not. No? Mm -hmm. I may have to leave her in the car, but <laughs> I do need to be picky because I'm going away for a week. Carrie is away for another week and uh, I don't want to get that far behind. So we're going to go in and I'm going going to channel pickiness. I am. She doesn't believe me. All right, I'm gonna have to prove it on video. So here we go. Let's get inside. Let's get shop done. So here at Savers, if you make a donation, you get a 20% off coupon. So that's what we are doing first. And now we need to go find a lucky cart. I think it is. I think it's, I think it's this one. She thinks it's that one, so we'll find out. Okay, let's start in the Nicky Nackies. This is their little holiday section. And I am not seeing anything calling me from there. I'm gonna look at this as trying to look like a willow tree, but I don't believe it is. No, it's kind of a trying to knock off the willow tree figures. It's it's cute, but it's also a little bit on the beat up side. I can't believe Jordan passed right by the cute little gnomies. Okay. What's up there? Oh, they're all, they're all these uh, little um, snowshoes, decorative snowshoes. A whole bucket of them. We don't need snowshoes. Definitely don't need snowshoes. Little Guatemala fruit souvenir. Let's see who makes the police. Day. Oh, it's made, I think, to be a light up thing, but you gotta paint it. Gotta paint it yourself. There's a interesting ashtray. Looks like it's got some quality and age to it, but I'm not seeing a signature anywhere. And because it's got some chipping, I am not gonna pick it up. If it hadn't been chipped, I might have picked it up because it's it's a nice quality vintage piece, um, but not signed. So we're good. We're good with leaving it. It's a very cute little bank. See what you are back here. Who makes you a cute little doggy? Like a little Chihuahua holding a holding a bonnet. It's a fine adult collectible from Compassion is Comfort from the Pretty and Purple Chihuahua collection. Hmm. He's a good live sale. He's a good live sale little guy, but he is $4 and we only get 20% off today. So I have to leave him, have to leave him. Maybe he'll still be here when I come back on a 
sale day. Now this, whew, $10, which is gonna make it $8 for me. Oh, that she's got her eyes open. Look at two of them have their eyes closed and she's got her eyes open. Made in Thailand. Vintage. That is really cute. I'm gonna see if it works. It does work and it plays a Christmas song. It plays joy to the world. I don't know if you can hear it because I've got a different camera going. Gosh, it's awful cute. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the cart and contemplate. Right next to it are these nice art pottery goblets. Gosh, again, looks like the prices are going back where they used to be. Because that's a little much to pay for a goblet. Were they $3.99? I would get them, but not at $6.99. What? 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 Plant. They're wall planters. Yes, yes, they are wall planters. Okay. I guess I'm decorating uh, Jordan's place. Okay, ooh, that's a nice vase up here. It's a decorative piece. You know what, it's $12.99. I'm gonna need both hands to get that down. This is what the bottom says. W, W, B, I, or J. It's made in China, but that's not deterring me because it, it absolutely is vintage. I can tell it's vintage, Just, just don't know how vintage and who makes it, but I do love the subject matter. So because it's horses, I think I will go ahead and spend the $12.99 and get this. Cute little kitty dish. He is missing probably a cane. It's from the family Christian stores. Oh, look at you little fox. Look at you. Oh, he's got little chipping on the ears, unfortunately. He's chipped. He's chipped, guys. I gotta leave him. I gotta be good. I gotta be better. $4.99 for this guy. Again, you guys. Ugh. I just can't. I can't spend five bucks on stuff like this. It's just, he's maybe worth ten. Can't do it. Can't do it. Pains me, pains me. There's a, there's a Coca Pelli. $5.99. Yeah, it's it's very strange that it seems they were pricing very reasonable and then now they've started to up them again. I don't know what that's about. Precious grandmother. The lid's a little messed up. Otherwise, that'd be a really pretty little piece. Okay, let's see. These ballet slippers down here are really cute. They are, looks like, wait a minute, what? Oh, they priced them separate because they are separate, but they're really not separate because you don't have just one ballet slipper, you have slippers. So they would be $5.99 each. We'll leave those. Let's see, summer dress worn during the dance of the perennials. Tulip, tulip summer dress worn during the dance of the perennials. This is chip. This is a cool tile by Wendy Costa, but unfortunately, it does have those chips down there, so we're going to have to leave that one too. I see. Cute little music box. Oh, he's got a unicorn in there. Let's wind it up and see. There it is. We'll see if you are still good when we open you back up. Look at that. Okay. I like it. $6.99. <sighs> ah, goodness. So it's really going to be... Mm -mm -mm -mm. 560 like six bucks all right i'm gonna put it in the cart i'm gonna look it up well i did look it up and it's just on the verge you know of being out of where i would be comfortable um they sell brand new for like 20 bucks so 15 to 20 on the used market we'll go ahead and do it 
And we will see what else we can find. Look at, they still have the little nativity thing missing Joseph's head. No shelf cleaning has happened here in this store anytime recently. Because it's been a couple weeks. Or maybe it's just been a week. I don't know, it's been a while. This is a cute little um, Betsy Ross music box, but it's pretty torn up. And I can feel the music box part kind of wiggling and jiggling in there. These are hobbyists. Oh, here's another one of those elephants that usually comes with a plaque. Six ninety nine. Yeah, they just they don't sell for a whole bunch. And we have a bird. I've got a bird music box. It's really really pretty, but it's not, it doesn't even have a name on it, and it is, it is just a made in China one. So I do love it, but I am trying to be picky. Trying, trying, trying. This is that same scissors holder that was here the last time we were here with a big ship in the corner. It's unfortunate. That is just a big thing of sand. Okay. All right. Tomorrow they have half off day for their like super saver club members. Oh, it's got boo boos. Um, I don't know if I'll make it back tomorrow though. So, if I see something, I'm just gonna go ahead and pay the price today. Now, this looks like it possibly could be a Ken Edwards. Yeah, I don't think the quality is there for Ken Edwards, but it is, it is an absolute cool. Uh, tonala piece but it's got that butterfly signature which has me really thinking about it but for $4.99 we will definitely pick him up because he's got a bird okay, let's take a peek it's a unicorn with a broken horn it sounds like the sounds like they've saved it down in there at least for somebody and then I look over and look what I see on the foot of this little guy it is a Robert Reikies it is a numbered Robert Reikies and it's a bunny. Normally Robert Reikies are bears but this one is a bunny. Yeah I know he's got some boo-boos. does have some boo-boos. I don't know how well that could be fixed up. I am a real sucker for these you guys. <sighs> Uncle Vincent? Is that who this is? He's a 1990. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He would be $8 for me because of the discount that we get, but okay, I can't, I can't leave him behind. All right, we are in their candle section, and I am going to look very closely and hope to find a glassy baby. Still, I still have yet to find one in the wild, and so many people, so many of my viewers, other, other resellers find them, but I have never found one. What is this guy? Oh, he does something. What is he, a post-it? Oh, he holds post-it notes. Okay, he holds he holds post-it notes. That's what he does. All right. All right. So, Savers is a really good place to possibly find one because they're not pulling stuff to sell online. These guys are really cute, but they are $4 each, and that would be like $12 for the set. This little guy is still here. I don't know, there is a color, I think, that is 50% off. I'm looking around and I don't see what it is, but I'm going to have to find out what that color is to know which items are 50% off. Cute cobalt blue, but again, it's just not, it doesn't have enough value for me to be messing with that right now. I have so much cool stuff to put into my live sales right now. It just... It doesn't make any sense for me to buy a bunch of extra stuff unless it's just super, super duper special. So I will be waiting. No, nope. had no weight on it. Right shape, wrong weight, wrong quality, not it. But we will keep looking and see, these are these are Yankee Candle, and I do pick these up when it's closer to the season. This one's got a chip, though. Um, but I do, I do do really well selling those during the holiday time. 
but I'm not going to pick them up today because I can generally find them pretty easily all throughout the year. So here we are at the tins. I did sell a mystery tin in my last sale and it went over really well. So I'm going to keep on the lookout for nice sized cool tins that also have a collectability factor like this one. I like the size and shape of this one. Uh, you can see there's a vintage tag on there. $3.99, I'm gonna pick that one up. I am on an end cap. I spotted this little guy, but that, it feels like plastic. It feels like plastic. So we will leave it. Let's see if there's any other goodies over here. Yeah, I don't see anything that we need to take home today. I don't know, these can be pretty decent, but I don't want to pay seven bucks for them. Actually, this one's signed. Let's see, who makes you? Oh, this one is made in Portugal. I still don't want to pay seven bucks. I just don't want to do it. He doesn't excite me enough, you know? He's not that item that brings me joy. All right. All right, we're going to give a quick look through the dolls for anything of interest here. Oh, she's cute. Oh, there it goes. Here goes the clothes. They're going on the cart. There they go. Yep, she's going to load the cart. <laughs> All right, nothing in the dolls. All right, this guy is really cute. He is a, I didn't even touch that and it fell over. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. It's very, you just lay you down because you're very wobbly anyway. But what I wanted to see is on the bottom, this guy is marked, oh, he's not. I bet he's like a hobbyist piece. He's an old hobbyist piece. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm going to leave him. I'm, I'm going to leave him. I know. I know. I'm going to do it. See what else is over here. What's this back here? What is this? Oh, that is a huge hobbyist piece. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that one, except bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> All right. Now, I would have totally gone for these Uncola 7-Up glasses, but they're asking $7.99 a piece. What has happened in like one week's time since I have been at the Sabres? Because they were doing so good on their prices, and now we're back to full-on ridiculousness. Because here, this is a really good set with the pitcher, uh, but $20 for the pitcher and $8 for each glass. No, can't do it. I don't know. I'm not even sure at half price if that's viable. Because that would still be... That would still be... Eight times three... Twenty-four... Thirty-four you'd have to pay for the set. So, I don't see how that makes sense for a reseller. Unless they're just trying to squeeze the reseller market out. It's very possible. It's, and if that happens, then I will find another place to shop again. I won't, I won't waste my time at a store that doesn't want resellers. Like these guys are really cool, but yeah, 3 dollars a bit much for me, for me to pay. Well, let's see if we're going to be able to spot any bargains today. That's a really cheap, it's not even glass. It's like a really thin plastic. Looking for a mark on the bottom of this. I'm not seeing anything. You know, you just kind of let the uh, light kind of reflect off it in different ways so you can see if there's a mark. This one is not marked. So, because time is so precious, I just don't have the time to be researching things that aren't easily researched. So, I'm going to leave it. I know I'm leaving a lot of stuff leaving a lot of stuff kind of crazy but, oh what's this a little miniature little eastery shadow box egg yeah nothing too exciting they have a lot of those little trinkets probably got them as like overstock out of a store this is a project somebody took like an anchor hawking 
a little green vase and then totally encrusted it with shells. Actually, they did a really good job with it. It's kind of cool. And it is a one-of-a-kind piece because that that is handcrafted. This is a really pretty little piece. Not marked. It's probably Bavarian. See, this was painted and signed by the artist. It's a little dirty. Needs a little cleaning, but $5.99. $5.99. It's probably its resale value is anywhere from like 10 to 15. Um, so I just can't pay that much for something that's gonna sell in that margin range. You see a glass flower here. Oof, $10. It's a really pretty one, but it's broken. Broken on the end, so again, can't do it. I do see a little chicken on a nest. Now, I know these are super popular, and if he's not broken, I will put him in the cart. And he is not, so he can go with me. Alright, got a pretty little swan here. Ooh, I like this bowl. Who makes this? I see a dishwasher safe. See, $1.99. Like, that's, that's a good price for a cute little stoneware patriotic bowl. Now I want to see who makes it to know if you've got some resale value other than just being cute. Let's see. Are you a name? What's under here? You are tender, den tender heart. 2000, it's actually vintage. $1.99. Yes, we will get you. You're cute. Oh, we got big mouth Billy Bass. There was a time when those were going for some big bucks. Gotta tell you. I think I bought this. I think I already bought this. Not at this store, at another store once. Uh, but I definitely didn't pay $10 when it was only $11.99. No. It's a Penco. Yes. No. No, no $10 for this. Nope. Can't do it. Couldn't even do it on principle alone, even if it does sell for enough to, like, I don't know. Come on. Savers, don't do this to me. You get cool stuff. I want to be able to keep shopping here. That is a Formalities Eden Fruit Chintz kind of cool but I've never done well with the formalities brand they're kind of coarse and heavy so I think you, there's a very specialized market for the coarse and heavy hey this matches this matches the music box that I have in the cart I haven't looked it up yet uh, but this gives us a little bit more information under here and uh, this is $5.99 so I'm gonna put that in the cart too okay let's See, you need a new hat, Jordan. I, I got a, I got a hat for you. There you go. Oh, look how cute they are. They match the one I have in my garden. Do you see my little hedgehog family in the garden? I have a little hedgehog family in the garden. He is. I know I will be in trouble if I don't grab this. Then I looked up. And there it was. Oh, it's a little parakeet. You know where that's going. And then I looked up yet another tier. <laughs> and we have a whole family of carved wood giraffes. That one's $3.99, $6.99, and I suspect $6.99. It is a little more than I would like to. This one, not in such great condition either. That one's kind of got some fading on it too. You know, guys, look at me. Look at me. I'm going to leave them and back away. And then I spotted this guy. He is a, he's a toad. That ain't even a frog. That's a toad right there. He is an ashtray. He is $6.99, but you know what? He's really great quality. Um, and he is not signed unless it's signed under the six under the 6.99 tag but man he is nice he is nice and so let's see let me do the math in my head um he'd be five dollars and sixty cents yeah that that's a good splurge 
baskets, baskets, more baskets. I just don't, I don't know enough about baskets to even like know how to buy anything that's collectible. I mean, I know there's longer burgers and that, but baskets are just never, have never been like a thing for me. I'm like, they don't, they don't bring me joy. So I don't focus and I don't learn about them. It's okay. I'm sure there is somebody out here in Vegas who just gets tickled to death by baskets and that's great. Now this on the other hand does kind of pull me, but I'm getting, I'm getting a look from my daughter saying, mom, mom, you have plenty. All right, let's, let's find something spectacular in the vases today. So this is a swung vase, although not a very exciting one, but it is purpling. So I do believe this is a clear vase. Are you tired? Oh, oh, she's shopping. Okay. Uh, $2.99, I will take a chance on this because I do believe it's a vintage swung vase. Even though it's clear, it's got some purpling going and I think someone will really like it. Let's see if we can find any other little goodies like this. That would be fun. Find it. Do you still like the milk glass? Is milk glass still in for the uh, millennial generation? There's a this is a neat little piece over here. It's, this is, I do believe this is the Westmoreland quilted pattern. <gasps> $8.99 though. Ugh, it is Westmoreland because you can see it right there, right next to the tag. I don't know if that's too much or not. That's a Fenton hobnail. It could be Westmoreland too, actually. Westmoreland and Fenton both made the hobnail. So let's take a peek. Oop. I would have to peel that up a little bit and see. And it has no mark, making me think it is a Fenton piece. Now, I'm not real into the hobnail, but I like the quilted pattern. So I don't know, I might look and see what this is going for. So as I suspected, this piece is selling for 15 to $20 on the high end. So can't pay nine for it and sell it for 15 to 20 just can't do it and you probably saw this in the back here pulled my attention look at the facets on this hmm very very heavy piece of glass it is made in China though unbelievable they're getting better and better because that seems like a really good piece of glass but gosh it's really really heavy and the fact that it's that it is made in China and I can't, you know, I can't market it as a Bohemian or a Polish or anything that gives it more value. I would have to sell this just as a decorative vase for 20 to $25. So I'm going to pass it. Okay. Let's see. Jordan stole my cart. I can't. She keeps doing that. It looks like a little whale tail, doesn't it? Kind of a cool little, cool little piece, cool little vase. I'm looking close because, you know, this is where there can be a sleeper. There can be something really good in here. And uh, if you go too fast, you're going to miss it. Oh, but let's see. I don't think so today. I don't think so today. Arabia. Hey, hey, there we go. Let me show you that mark a little better. Arabia, made in Finland. We like that. Now, is that cracked? Oh, darn it. I was hoping that was just part of the design. But that's cracked all the way through. Oh, breaks my heart, breaks my heart. We do have to leave it. Oh, and this is salt glaze with the, it looks like the Lowenbrow lion on it. There is no maker on this. And again, at $6.99, I just, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Picky, picky, picky. This is me being picky. You're seeing it. I'm doing it. All right. Nothing else here. 
Oh my goodness, do you need some wild boars? Javelinas, if you will? That's pretty crazy. It's huge. Seven nine. Now that they price at seven ninety nine. That should be priced at like nineteen ninety nine for something of that stature. I just don't. I don't have room to even deal with that. And it's not something I'd want to ship. Cute little turkey. Let's see. This is quite a little variety shelf. It's a kitty stocking holder. Does Dozer need a kitty stocking holder? Oh, you get that look on your face that's like, I'm contemplating, no, I'm thinking about it. About. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cute. And then we could find a puppy one for Dozer. I mean, Daisy, Dozer's the cat, Daisy's the dog. I knew that. You don't have room? Okay, you don't have room. Little Red Schoolhouse of American Retailing. <gasps> hey, give me an O. Ooh, we got some bougie camels right here. Those are actually, look at the detail on that. Look at the detail with the people riding the camels. All the little turquoise and it's missing some of the turquoise pieces though it is missing some so now i have to decide is it worth eight bucks missing all that turquoise uh, it's not real turquoise either guys this is it's it's synthetic turquoise pretty sure yeah that's synthetic turquoise still a cool piece but Mmm, mm, I'm torn, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to be good. I'm going with condition. I'm going with that. It just really needs to be in great condition because I get a lot of stuff that I rescue. And then what, what, what are we doing? Oh, Canada. <laughs> I have some really awesome viewers in Canada. That's a neat little piece. What you made of? You are made of, oh, it's a burwood. Nice. Then I was spotting this little guy for $4.99. He's pretty, he's, he's been in, he's been in a few fights. I can tell. He's a, oh, she, she, it's a mama. She's a little worse for wear. We're going to leave her. Okay. Phone case. Love. Nice little carved box. Let's look inside. Wow. I'm a little disappointed with what the inside looks like. Looks like popsicle sticks on the inside. Hmm. I think I'll leave it. These are fairly common. Oh, you know what? I I just found out that those sit on a door sill. Like on your doorway. That's why it's flat and sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's broken? Yeah, that would be crazy. Oh, that's a bummer. It probably, it probably fell out of the door sill. Ooh, you would have had some expensive wine showing up in that. What is what is this under here? Oh my goodness, that's heavy. Let's put you over there. I want to get down to the shadow box. It's oh, it's an empty shadow box. Give me an S. Oh wait. There. Now give me an S. I see a cow and a farm and I don't see any hooks or any, oh, it's, <laughs> it's reversible. That's kind of cool. You can put that over your door sill too. I like that. Let me see that. I thought I saw a signature somewhere in here. I must have been seeing things. 92, it is vintage. Oh, I'm a sucker. I'm picking it up. Okay. What is this? What is it? It's got, a, oh, this fold, like Salton Hot Ray. I don't know what this is. It's a thing. It's a weird thing. Oh, it would have plugged into something. All right. We're stepping away. We're stepping away from it. 
That's a little broken jewelry box. Yeah, let's see. Kind of electronical. We're gonna go a little bit fast through this because this is not my thing. But I look everywhere just in case there's something out of place that shouldn't be in this section that makes its way into this section that I can stick in my cart, but not today. Okay, we're still shopping. So I think I am going to end this part of the video right now and be sure you are subscribed and hit the notification and come back for part two where we will continue our fun at Savers. And I think there's gonna be a special surprise for you in part two as well. So here's the recap that I've purchased so far. And it's everything that I bought for resale with what I paid what it is and how much it goes for on eBay. And that's based on actual sold comps that I research on every item. All right, get ready for it, coming up right now. Okay, you've now seen the recap, and that's only part one. So be sure to come back for the next video, which will be part two, and we'll recap everything and have a special bonus try on video in there. I'm committed now. I'm saying it in the recap here, in the recap, in the in the outro. You, you are committed. Hey, I'll do it. It was fun. It was I fun. I just want to make sure everything fits this time. I know. Yeah, the last one. <laughs> Disappointing. A few little small things. It's okay. Bougie had fun with it. All right. You're getting a little sneak peek already. So you are going to have to come back and see what's in the car. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. Mm -hmm.